morning our dear viewers at home welcome again to your dining station golf tv and all your favorite program devotional uh we are considering this week on the topic that says hearing the edition story again and today friday 5th of december 2014 we're considering the topic that says contain earnestly for the faith shall we pray our father we thank you this morning Thank you for the usual way you have been helping us. And thank you, Lord, for how you have ministered to our life this morning. Be that exalted in Jesus' name. Lord Almighty, we thank you when we slept, you wake up safely. You are the one that kept us in our sleep. You brought us light again today. Lord, be that magnified in the name of Jesus. As we go into your word, speak to us, Holy Spirit. Help us, O Lord, and guide our way right. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Today, Friday, 5th of December, 2014, we are considering once again, contend endlessly for the faith. Contend endlessly for the faith. And our scriptural text this morning is taken from the uh, book of Jude. Jude, from verse 1 to 7. Jude, from verse 1 to 7. I read here, verse 1. Jude the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Verse 2. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write down to you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Verse 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lafficiousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 5. And we therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. Verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had reserved in everlasting chains, under darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. Verse 7, the last verse. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them in the like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, and going after strange flesh, and set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Our viewers at home this morning, do not forget that we are discussing on the topic that says, contend earnestly for the faith. So as we draw closer these days to the end of the world, as we draw closer to this day to the end time, Different thing arises from one corner, from one place to the other. We have fake believers that show up. We have people who call themselves to be believers, but they are not. We have people who hypocritize themselves. We have people who call themselves even God. We have people who are not Christian, but they call themselves Christians. But here, we, the target here is to pervert the redemption story for worldly gain and pleasure. The gain is to pervert the redemption story for what they gain and the pleasure. So we do not need to look far before we see those who preach another gospel because as far as the end time is concerned, they are around us. And as Christians, we must be very careful because this gospel, this fake gospel, are around everywhere today. People do no longer preach the scripture. They do no longer preach Christ. They do no longer preach what the Bible says. They preach other things else. They preach outside Christ. But as Christians, we must be to defend our faith. We must defend your faith at all times, in all circumstances, and in all situations. So, their main focus is money today. Focus of many people today, especially Christians, is money. People look towards money. Their main focus today is money. Their main focus today is pleasure. Many people run after pleasure. Many people run after money. Many people run after worldly sources today. But that is not the focus. That's not the mindset of God. That's not the belief. That's not the Bible. That, that is not. That is not. But we need to be able to be very careful because all these things 
they move around us as Christians. And as we go on in our daily works, in our activities, in our place of work, surely all these things are there. They are, in our, they are around us. So we must be able to defend our faith so that we will not fall victim of all these negative, all these worthy things. And God will help us in Jesus' name. So churches are packed full of those who are full are focus of money today. Many churches today are full of people, not because of anything, because of the money. They want their money from there. They believe that this church is rich. I have to be there. The church is rich. I have to be there. But no. So today, the focus is that it's on heaven. The focus in the faith that we have in the Lord, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not on pleasure. It's not on worldly sources. So, yeah, society today also are full of rights. People today in the one form or the other. Society today are full of rights. And itching ears, uh, people are, are full of itching ears today. So, as Christians, as believers, we must be able to stand firm, to contain earnestly our faith, not to fall in the wrong side, and not to fall into wrong messages, and not to fall with the wrong uh, people. So, God gave the Bible example of the judgment he executes on those who reject the genuine redemption. God really cited some example. One of the examples is Sodom and Gomorrah. They, re- they rejected God. They rejected God. And God really what? He destroyed them. So God gave an example of those people who have rejected him from the beginning. And these people, they ended up being destroyed. I pray for you this morning that you will not be destroyed in Jesus' name. The pleasure of the world, the itchy things that are going on in the world, will not destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. So those who thought Lot was joking were overthrown in Sodom and Gomorrah. So it's not a joke. It really happened. So as Christians, we must learn from this foil of the first nations and first people who are really fell, people who disobey the Lord's commandment. The spiritual mature ones should be able to combat and be ready to fight and defend the gospel at all time. At all time. We must be able to defend our, our gospel of salvation through the faith and atonement of the dead of the Lord Jesus Christ. We must be able at all times to defend our faith. We must be able to stand firm to know what we believe in. That is in, the Lord, in our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, the sanctification of believers and domination of those who refuse to believe him. We must be able to know this, that those who refuse to believe the Lord, they have their end part in domination. This is my sincere prayer for you this morning, Abias, that you will not end up being dominated in the name of Jesus. Your journey in life, your focus in life, everything concerning you will not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. A point of emphasis is knowing the terror of the Lord will persuade men to repent. The Lord I will serve, though is merciful, at the same time is a God that indeed when the time comes for him to bring the judgment, he will surely bring the judgment. He's not a partial God. He's not ever a partial God. He that do it right, let him do. And he that do it wrong, let him do. The Lord has his reward accordingly for individual. And I pray for you, as you are hearing the devotion this morning, that the Lord Almighty will redeem you in the name of Jesus. Our point of prayer is say, Father, send your Holy Spirit fire to pour your church of all unworthiness. I pray for you this morning that the Holy Spirit will send his fire and pour you and the church and even the world and even Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Our Father, once again, we thank you. We appreciate you for what you have done. Be that exalted in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, let your mercy be for us. Purge also God as a nation. Purge us as individual. Purge us as church. Purge us, O Lord, and let our life be plain unto you. Grace to defend our faith. Not to allow persecution. Not to allow things that go around, around us to befall us. Let it be released on us in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you once again, our viewers. Uh, join us tomorrow on this same station and the same time. God bless you. Amen.